Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting, relaxing question today. We have 20 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus 4. Very easy question on the first side. Everyone know about this subtraction sign, about division sign. We have two times a subtraction sign and one time we have this division sign. So here's our question. Right here on the left hand side we have a lot of options. We have option A, B and C. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting to check our answers, this is a very tricky question and many goes wrong and I wanted to record this video. Okay, I hope you choose one correct uh, option right here, A, B or C and right now let's try to solve it. First of all I wanted to rewrite this question, so we have 20 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus 4. So here is our here is our question from here. I just wanted to rewrite it. And one part of students saw it like that. Mostly these are students who don't know about order of operation and they start from the left to right because they think that this is correct. Okay, so we have 20 minus 20. They start from the left hand side. We have 20 minus 20 equal to 0. Yeah, and we have we still have this 0 divided by 2 and minus 4. So right now we, we want started once more from this division. So they are divided by 2 equal to 0 and 0 minus 4 equal to minus 4. And we have this option. This is option B. So one part of students saw it like that. They say, okay, this is correct because we go from left to right. But right now I want to say that this is absolutely wrong uh, solution and I hope you don't you didn't choose this option B because this is absolutely wrong solution. Because this is the chaotic solution. We go from left to right. We subtract it first, then divide, then subtract. So we need to know about order of operation because in math it's not work like that. We cannot do it chaotically. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question I want to show you this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Yeah? And uh, I respect every order of operation, for example BODMAS, but in this case that doesn't matter what order of operation you select because we will have the same answer. So as I told before this is absolutely wrong solution because we, this is like chaotic solution, subtraction, division, subtraction. This is very bad order of operation so we reject our option B, which is absolutely wrong. So right now let's try to solve it correctly according to PMDMC. Maybe we'll have the same minus 4, I don't know exactly, but let's do this, okay? So I want to read this question, so we have 20 minus 20 divided by 2 and minus 4. Okay, here is our question and let's go to this PMDMC. This PMDMC order of operation it works from the top to the bottom, so we can easily go through the steps real quick. So the first step, parentheses. Let's scan. Maybe we'll have parentheses right here. No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. So we don't have any parentheses. It's really great because with parentheses this question will be like more complicated for us. We don't need it because, yeah, we don't have any parentheses. It's really great. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step, exponents, yeah? Uh, I don't see any exponents, we don't have any cubes, fourth power, we have like regular numbers without any powers, it's really great as well because Imagine if you have, for example, 20 to the power 20, it's, it will be really hard to raise this because this is a very huge power. In our case we don't have any exponents, so we just skip this part. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we need to find multiplication, uh, first uh, multiplication sign, but uh, commonly we need to find multiplication and division sign, because this is the uh, one common group, yeah? So multiplication and division sign, let's scan right here, okay. Subtraction, we are not interested in this, yeah, we have right here division, we are interested in this, but this division we apply only to these two numbers, yeah, we don't need it to, to apply it to the whole expression, only to this division 20 divided by 2. Okay, so we have division, it's really great we find this sign and we don't have multiplication, doesn't matter, we don't have multiplication, it's it's really great. So we have only division, so saying in other words, if you look uh, to the last step, addition and subtraction, we have this subtraction sign right here, we don't have addition sign, but the main rule right here, division all the time is before subtraction, all the time. So every time you need to divide at first, then you need to subtract, okay? This is maybe the common rule right here, and right here we had this mistake, we start from subtraction, but we cannot do this like that, because right here, subtraction, this is our last step with addition, yeah? This is one common group from left to right. But saying in other words, multiplying and division is before addition and subtraction, so we need to do all the thing with division and multiplication, and then easily you can subtract it. So we have 20 from the beginning, and the first step, as I told before, 
default. This is not this subtraction. This is 20 divided by 2, which is equal to equal to 10. 20 minus 10 and minus 4 equal to, this is like easy question right now, because this is equal to equal to 6. Okay, but really important moment, really tricky moment, we don't have this option 6 right here, yeah, and a lot of students, when they solve this like that correctly, yeah, of course, this is correct solution, they go back to this wrong answer because they didn't see this option right here, they, we don't have this 6 right here, and a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer 4, which is absolutely wrong, because if you look closely, 0, this is not the same as 6 right here, but 3 factorial, very tricky moment right now, 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 3, yeah, here 1 times 2 times 3 which is equal to which is equal to 6 so this is like very tricky moment and many won't get right many goes wrong with this question and they go back to this wrong answer minus 4 but a correct answer is is 3 factorial which is option c okay we have answer which is option option c is a correct answer and according to pmdmc correct answer is 6 but according to test correct answer is c so i hope you understand this explanation i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure and i hope your answer is the same as mine but definitely don't feel bad if you get this wrong i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure thank you for your time and have a great day